Hello everyone. We have the Attack Life DM02A here. As you can see on the little sticker DM02A digit dot 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 E. And continuity test new. This one is very red. And these seem to be the exact same leads as the other two multimeters. I'd say these are PVC leads. So the front of the meter here, DMO2A, TAC Life. It is basically identical to the NeoTech one here. The only difference is the TAC Life one here has some colored labeling. I'm not sure why, but it does. They're basically the exact same multimeter. Branded, two different brands, different color shrouding on them. That's about it. Interesting. Let's see what battery is in the TAC Life, assuming it has one. And it's the same Goldman battery. Just like the NeoTech one, there is no cat rating or anything on the front. But on the back here, it does say that it conforms to IEC 61010-1. So we'll do the tests on this now, and then we'll take a look inside of it. The tack life meter here, the switch seems pretty decent. Let's see what the backlight is like. Backlight's quite dim on this one. It's definitely brighter on the Neotech and the Proster. We're using the same leads, the alligator clips from the Neotech meter. Read zero ohms, it's good. First up we have the 10 ohm resistor. 0.1%, just like last time. Jumping between 9.9 .9 and 10. This time the Proster's saying about 9.9 .9 as well. Now we'll do the 100k. It looks like the Proster's saying about 100 to 100.1. Tac Life is saying 99.7 to 99.8. Now the 1k resistor saying about 0 0.996, 995 in that range there. And Proster's saying 0.999 to 1. The 10k resistor here. 10k on the Proster. We got 9.95 on the TAC Life. It looks like 99.3 on the TAC Life for the 100k resistor. And the Proster is still saying 100.2, same as with the NeoTech. And now we have the 1 mega ohm. And the Proster is saying 1.001, 0 0.995. Now the unique function of the TAC Life here compared to the other two is that it has non-contact voltage. So as we bring it close to the power cable, you can see an alarm goes off on the multimeter there. So it doesn't show the actual voltage or anything. So I'm going to set this to continuity. Oops. I have my Proster leads here, the ones that came with the Proster multimeter. So let's see how responsive this is. Seems okay. It's making noise even though I'm barely touching there, so that's a good sign. So let's take this one apart and see what's inside. And this is laid out exactly the same as the other meter, the Neotech. It has the potentiometers for calibration. This one actually has fuses that I can read the writing on, which is different. Uh, the shunt resistor has a bunch of notches in it. I guess that's their way of calibrating that. It's the exact same PCB, the very thin traces coming from the inputs. Even from the 10 amp input, the Trace is extremely thin. 
it's not terribly impressive inside. There's only one PTC, just like on the other one. Definitely looks like it's built and manufactured by the same people. Looks like this is revision 5 of the board. I was expecting the PCB to be identical to the Proster PCB, but nope, this is a very different board. And just like on the Neotech one, I would have liked this little overlapping gap here to be a bit bigger in case one of the fuses explodes or anything to help contain the damage. So I hope you enjoyed this unboxing episode and little mini review here. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. If you have any questions, leave them in the section below. Thank you for watching. I hope you have a wonderful day.